Raven's adoption story started when she was in sixth grade here at Campbell County Middle School. She got in trouble for throwing food in the cafeteria and had to go to the principal's office. That's when she met Principal Jason Smith, who heard her story for the first time. She said that she had thrown a cup of yogurt at lunch. And uh, I asked, well, if you were out at a restaurant, would, would you do that there? And I was like, I've never really been to a restaurant. I don't really have a family. I'm in a group home. For the first 11 years of her life, Raven says she never felt loved and was stuck living in terrible conditions. We had head lice. We had like bruises all up and down us. Our fingernails were really gross and stuff. Jason and his wife, Mary Beth, had already been through infertility attempts and fostered kids who eventually returned to their biological families. It just crushed us, so um, I, I, we made the decision, probably more so me, that my heart couldn't take another break like that. But after Jason heard Raven's story, he wanted to help her. They decided to start the process of fostering. They say that um, a mother falls in love with her child at first sight. And I can remember Raven walking into that room that day, that scared little kid, and I'm, I just knew in my heart, this is, this is what's supposed to be. At first, Raven was hesitant to be fostered by the principal, but after just one weekend visit, she felt like she belonged. The same weekend, we went and painted the room my favorite color, teal. I just like knew that everything happens for a reason. Jason and Mary Beth officially adopted Raven in 2017. Where do you think you would be right now if you did not have them? Honestly, I wouldn't be alive. And why do you think that's the case? I probably would have went down a completely different path. Raven had a new life, but it wasn't always easy. She had to overcome a lot of trauma from her childhood. Some she still deals with but she's hoping to help others like her. She's studying social work at the University of Kentucky. She's overcome a lot of the, the challenges that she's had, and we're, we're really proud of her. If you're out there and you're thinking about fostering a kid, um, one, don't be afraid to take a, a teenager. I couldn't love her anymore um, if I had given birth to her. Chelsea Sick, Local 12 News. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.